this week on Buck Commander. We are back in Utah at the Seventh Heaven Ranch. I was built for this. That dude's got a death wish. This place is covered up with elk. The bull is, is right over the ridge and he's coming. Full sprint. He's gone, baby. We have a beautiful day for racing. And they're off! We have Willie Robinson. Ah. We've got Alvin Rose. Down right there. Let's give him a little walk. Talk about Martin. Smoked. Here we go! Oh! Ryan, lay your hands. Oh, the helmet's been thrown. Ah! We got Mr. Jason Alley. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's day three in Utah. And Rochi, Willie, and myself are the only ones who don't have a bull yet. Even Willie decided to um, do something physical and elk hunt. I think there's a very good chance he gets a shot at a bull tonight. I think so too. And it wouldn't surprise me if it's one of those two good ones. I think if Willie went elk hunting, the only way it would happen is if somebody put a burger at the top of the mountain. Yeah. Throw him. I got some intel about a really good bull that's hanging out in this one particular area, but it's a long way back in there. Stepping. He's gone. He's gone, baby. He's gone right there. <laughs> Here we saw. Here we saw. Come here. That's my little brother. brother. How about it? That was that was that was him, wasn't it? That was the one you had a picture of. That's a great mole, man. Look at this big old sucker. Congratulations, my man. Oh, thank you, Lord. Well, I had a good, I thought about taking that hind end shot. Yeah. 
<laughs> after seeing Grant, I just couldn't force just myself figure, to figure, do it. Figure, uh, shoot, Man, I, I zeroed in right it, there and then it does the job apparently. Right? Just <laughs> migrated a little bit to the left. Man, we're two for two out here. Two years in a row. This is a dang good bull. <laughs> that right there is that's everything you could ask for. No doubt. No. Right and I wish everybody could do it. Yeah. Because I, I cannot get enough of it, but <laughs> Can't thank you enough for trekking all over the mountains with us for a few days. And how perfect is this? I mean, the only thing better than coming up here chasing elk is getting to do it with the whole team here. That hands down, nothing better. When we get to do these group hunts, I hate it that Jason and Luke are working. Them boys need to hurry up and retire like the rest of us. Yeah, Rochi, I'm glad the whole group could make it. I see where I stack up on your list. This is mainly for, mainly for the socks, but might as well. I think just a quick wash will do the trick. There we go. Come check on it in 35 minutes. This place is covered up with elk. Pretty much as soon as we get out there and get set up, we strike up a young bull. So we run this little guy off and keep moving on. And here he comes back. We just can't seem to shake this guy. Every time we bugle, he comes in a running. If he keeps acting like this, we may have to teach him a lesson in a few years. So we're heading back down the mountain and the daylight's fading pretty quickly. We're almost back to the buggy and a few bulls start firing up down in the canyon. And now the clock is ticking. We might have an epic, epic night tonight. Mm, I hear, I hear. Two days. We might have four elk and a nice mule deer. Is that pretty good, uh, what were we saying? Time to kill ratio? Kill the cost. Did we make, it, did we make up for kill the cost kill ratio? Kill the cost ratio just went. It was down here and then it, it, went, it got elevated. It got extreme spike. Well, I'll tell you what, this, uh, this is our second year coming to 7th Heaven and it just doesn't get much better than this place. You get them screaming in front of you like that, it doesn't really matter how big they are. Like it's, it's gonna get your blood pumping. We had bulls all around us the last two days, tonight as well. We couldn't, we couldn't figure out which one to make a move on. There was so many bulls bugling. I know people say it and it's cliche about being proud of them, but anytime you get 
one of these one of these creatures down with a bow is you got to be a little bit proud and excited and feel like it's special and one of the best parts of doing this is being with your buddies and getting to share in it and and I really am really am pretty stoked because if we get if we get over there and Adam and Willie really both have bulls tonight it's that just doesn't happen ever so here's hoping uh, here's hoping it all worked out for those guys Day one of elk hunting. We'll take our time because this. We'll take our time. This hike sucks. We're gonna take our time because this hike sucks. I was built for this. So I've got a clear shot on this bull. He has done exactly what we wanted to do. I'm waiting for Jordan to get on it. The problem is, my camera guy, Jordan, is four foot tall. Oompa Loompa beside me cannot see at all. We could have gotten him a high chair and he still couldn't have seen, so we're in big trouble. both get it done on the third night and wouldn't you know it after all the grief that Willie was giving Grant about a bad shot he manages to do the same thing sounds like karma might be real well done my friend well done are you kidding me lost camera huh dude that's a heck of a bull right there you got man that's the one we went in there for. That's the yeah, picture. that's what I was hoping. I said, I hope that big heavy sucker came out for him. He ran in and I ranged him. Congratulations. I, ran, I got, he was there, I ranged him at like 
60 and then I ranged him again at like 52 and just came running at us just screaming his guts out. He literally was, screamed his guts out. They're, they're not in there. <laughs> they're not he has no guts. <laughs> they're not in there. <laughs> oh boy. Well, we would have had three tonight. If we really didn't yank it. We can go look for him right now. We can just go ahead and go three for three. The midnight search. Was your screaming when he came in? Oh, yeah. That's, how awesome yeah, is he that? He could have shot him underneath, but couldn't get the camera up there. Man, it was sad. <laughs> so then look, then Jordan. We to... I look over. So look, he's in the water hole. He puts his leg up, cornered like this, just begging for it. And I like, I was like, Jordan, you want to look over? And Jordan's like, he's on his tiptoes, <laughs> and he's got his camera right, and he's like, I don't, I don't think I can see him. I'm like, oh my oh, yeah, gosh. Man. This is why you don't bring your kids to film your hunts. <laughs> They're not tall enough, you know? We just need like a little ladder. Now that everybody has their bull, I've got the biggest search party ever for my bull. Well, we are getting our search party together. Just getting the crew herding all the cats up. And We'll have a large search party. It's the good part about being the last one to get your help. Everybody else is available and made way better shots than I do. <laughs> Except Grant. Yeah. We found blood, which is good. So he's going uphill, which is not good. But at least we found some blood. It's a higher altitude than I normally used to. Well, we had a little dip in morale. And then Jay slumming it. Finally got his energy back up. Ate a couple of ding dongs, <laughs> hit a Twinkie. He found blood about 100 yards away. He's back sweating again. Of course, he said he's gonna post up on the blood while we can't look. <laughs> he said, I'll see y'all in about an hour. Bring me some corn dogs. <laughs> I got him, guys. The quest is over, boys. Yes! At that, huh? <laughs> now this bull did not make it easy on us to find him. But fortunately for us, we had an army of lookers. Y'all waiting for a speech? He's trying to figure out no how to make sense of it. <laughs> I know. What do you say? What do you say? Man, we've been trying to get him out west for years. Would you do it again, is the question. Yeah. Well, Benny, it had its twists and its turns. Like this? <laughs> All right. Ready? So all the guys are in Utah on a hunt, and uh, as luck would have it, I have a show in Salt Lake City. So those guys call me up, want me to come into camp. I got a wife who's seven months pregnant, and uh, so that was reason number one that I didn't come. I mean, I'll be honest, I could come up with a million reasons why I didn't come hunt with you guys, but I mean, what it boils down to is I just really just didn't want to. I guess since he's too busy to come hunt with us, we'll go to him. All right, here we are. <laughs> Braving the concert. So we decided to go pop in, knowing this might be the only time we see him all hunting season. Stand up and welcome to the stage, baby. The two-time ACM so I was excited to see all the guys that showed up to the show and uh, got a chance to, to hang out a little bit. But uh, I didn't get to travel a whole lot and hunt with the guys, but I had a pretty good reason. But always good to see them and, and catch up whenever we're, we're close by. It might be the only time you see me this year because I got a baby due. I mean, my wife is super pregnant. I'm not going to miss the birth of my son. And I mean, all those guys would do the same thing. Jordan, his wife had a baby and he took two years off. 
for one kid. Okay. I deserve a year off. Gotti, let me do it. Yes. Go ahead. Yes. Go ahead. And next on, next year, I'm back in the game. But if there was ever a reason to miss hunting season, this was it. So, uh, but I'll be back at it next year with the guys for sure.